Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. This episode we're going to go to space, but first let's get one of these collector's quests finished. I think I've got two which are finished, at least two. One of which is diamonds, so let's do that one first. Or maybe we'll do gold first. Okay. So here I've got uh, the OSS which is connected for sandstone at the moment. I'm, I'm not sending it across because it's... Uh, where it's under the sand it's called under the sand so it's an almost a quarter there and there's a lot of sand being produced in the uh, quantum storage unit anyway so we don't really care about that so let's just knock this off it needs an axe I think like that and let's bring that over here to this storage unit here which has got gold in it so where I shall put it here like that and then we shall put down our atom conduit here. And we'll just see what we've got in here. We've got 13,000 gold. And I think the quest needs 10,000 gold. Let's just have a quick look. Double check it. Quests. Collect a quest. Gold quest. 10,000. So we've got plenty of gold. So all we need to do is now to configure that. To insert and to extract. Always active. And then set this to the gold quest. Here we go and consume so now that should start to consume gold but let's speed it up a bit i think i've got in my bag here um i've got plenty of speed upgrades or i should have 13. let's put those into here wrong one try again let's put it into here and that will go up uh at a reasonable rate so we'll cut that as you can see it's 56 golds going in at each time because there are 13 if i did 60 15 it'd give me 64 so it's four per item right so let's go now while that's working away to the spaceship i'll just change that i'll just do the guidance computer here and put station two in here um it's already fueled up so let's go and while we're flying up i'll just put my helmet back on so we we don't suffer from oxygen depri deprivation i did actually forget to do something else but we'll do that when we come back again i think because what i was doing is i was testing the throughput of those um, cables from advanced rocketry or power cables from advanced rocketry they're very cheap it's like one six clay and one ingot of copper gives you around about 32 and compare that to the price of um, the ones from uh, Ender IO they're really very cheap indeed but that's oh, gold's already completed that was really fast And it's been updated so what i want to do actually here is i would like to extend this space station again and we'll do it on this side this time i think what i need is a station docking port i want to put down here oh i just remembered something i haven't actually labeled the other one that's bad so i think i've got one prepared so i need a station docking port that one and I want to put it in the same place as I did the other one like that and do the same thing again oh I need to label this one don't I let's say this one's my ID is going to just we'll call it just say two again I forgot to label the other one that was bad anyway so we're all ready to go let's just quickly check here now I don't have a green chest this time because I've we're a little bit low on delithium. Let's go and get some more delithium from home. A thousand. Let's just fill up what we can. That'll be fine. So now let's go downstairs and look at our coordinates. So it's five hundred and 
actually we need to be the coordinates of the rocket and maybe I have those set So let's get into this rocket here, and we're not going to go anywhere just yet. But you'll see that, notice here that the X says 534 and the Z says 15, minus 1540. And we're going to go to a different planet. And the one I've chosen is actually, the, I, said, I said in the last episode I've been to all the planets. Well, I've been to all the planets. So where do I want to go to? Just a second. I want to go to Sol 28 on Wolf. So let's select a planet. Now, as I upgraded the um, the pack, the mod for apply um, this one, you can change the the different things. You can see here you can see all the planets, but you can't see them all. So you get a planet list here. So let's go up, and I want to go to Wolf 12, and I want to go to Sol 28. I think is the one I wanted. Let's select that and press Escape. I press select, it doesn't do anything, so I just press escape. And then here, I can warp to Sol 28, I think is the one I wanted to go to. Yes, it is. It doesn't take very long. Let's go upstairs, get into the rocket. Already here. And off we go. It's a, let's have a look what time of day is it. I haven't got my clock with me there. Maybe it's in the bag. Just let's have a look at that one. Because when we go up to down uh, into dimensions, the time changes. But I think I've already put down here a mega torch. Oh, it's still daytime. So you can see here on the minimap, it says that the the biome is sunflower plains, and each of these planets seems to have around about three or four different biomes. And this one's got birch forest, as you can see over there, and sunflower plains, which we see here. Oh, yes, I did put down the mega torch here, and it always lands in the same place. Let me just come back and show you that again. So look at the minimap where X is 534 and the Z is minus 1540, and it always does it in every single place. So as you can see, we've got no shortage of sunflowers, uh, black lotus, cows, and this is um, rice from Pam's Harvest Craft. You'll find here you get. Ham's Harvest Craft and Applied uh, Actually Editions, the two crops, because I haven't seen, there's the other one, Actually Editions. I haven't seen here anything else other than those, and that's another Actually Editions coffee seeds. And here we have uh, flax seeds. What I was looking for was actually to see if we could find any bees from forestry, but I haven't found any. So if we fly around about roundabout here actually some mobs over there but I'm, i don't know very much about those you see also you get some trees that's a bit of an unusually growing tree in the actual side of the cliff as it were so let's have a quick look around about here you see this is this biome here and the next one here is jungle edge i think that we see here that usually causes a bit of lag actually jungle edge seems to cause a bit of lag yes there we go m that means mesa i think which basically means it goes up and down a lot and the next one here is redwood Redwood Tiger Hills, Tiger Hills, I think it is, and here you can see some Pam's Harvest Craft uh, hives and things like that. And that is generally about the maximum. I had some wolves down here because we're in the Tiger biome, and Podzil and dirt and all sorts of. So tell me, it's Podzil? Yes, it does. Pod, Podzil. 
There's some sheep attacking a uh, wolf attacking a sheep. I'm going back for the next one. That's a brown sheep actually, that's interesting. Get some brown colour from that, we don't need it though. Got plenty of cocoa beans. So let's go back to the rocket and go somewhere else. In fact, I'm going to go to the the only planet that I've found. Now there is a trick. I haven't shown you this. I added an extra mod into this pack. And the one I added in was called Nature's Compass. Wrong one. Nature's Compass. And Nature's Compass, it's a bit cheaty really, but it's not that bad. You right click this like this and you can find a, a particular a biome. So for example, if I want to find, where were we? Redwood. I think I'm out of Redwood now. Tiger Hills M, like that and search for that it tells me on the top left it's a bit unfortunate because it's covered with the the suit but the air's breathable here let's just remove the suit like that and you'll see that the distance for that is 149 and it gives you the coordinates and the compass itself points directly to it so that with that knowledge you can right click this and the one we want is alien forest so you can search that and it takes a few seconds and it's searching we have to wait and it says not found alien forest are in a radius of 10,000 so I've done that for every single planet so the only one I found was the Sol 41 so let's go back to the rocket See, these are quite uh, no shortage of birch wood here But to be honest with you, I'm quite surprised that uh, we didn't find any. Um, there's another ambulance flying past, actually. Oh, fire engine. I'm surprised I didn't find any forestry stuff here at all. Every other mod I did find. I thought I'd show you that one place because it's quite impressive. I'm not going to bother fueling this up because it's just about full. And it uses most of the fuel for taking off from the planet and not from the spaceship. Here we go again. How high are we? Just reached the top. Yes, I haven't. I haven't done something. Have I? Let's just put my suit back on again before I forget. And press space. When you're actually in the in the show in the in the rocket, you don't need your spacesuit on. You only need it when you're actually in. Get out of it. So you have time to put it back on again. And here we are. As you see, we land fueling up and he wants me to go back there so let's now go over to the to the other one so we need to go to epsilon era so we go up epsilon era is this one and we need to go to sol 40 and then warp Go back upstairs again and as what I've been discovering here I was actually trying something out by the way here I was thinking seeing how effective if, if I could actually build a rocket because in the next episode we're going to go and do some gas mining so let's get into our rocket I think we're already here destination Sol 40 fueled up and ready to go Have another slurp of tea and wait for us to reach orbit. Basically, we have to get up to about a thousand, and as when we reach y thousand, it then changes the dimensions. But again, the coordinates here are five three, five three four, and minus fifteen forty. 
And as we descend, we're actually Extreme Hills plus M for Mesa, I think, or Mega. It's the same coordinates. So let's go down here. And sure enough, we, you should find we've also got a mega, a mega torch here as well. I think I put one on the, some of the recent ones, not all of them. There are actually some that where you actually land in deep ocean, which you have to be a bit careful about because there you get guardians attacking you. Yes, that's a torch. So let's try this again. Let's look for alien forest search so it's 101 blocks distance and it's in this direction here and sure enough you see this the tree straight away so we'll chop down one of these trees to get the sapling and then we shall go home again with the lag actually on that one don't ask me why. So we need a lumber axe. I think I've got one in my toolkit. We have. Remove the small axe here and we'll just chop this thing down here. Oop, a creeper. Right, we'll sort out the <laughs> we'll sort out the creeper before we do anything else. I didn't expect to see a creeper in there actually. Out of the way you Oh I've got my first sapling. There we go. Oh to be honest with you, I didn't actually look at the mini -up. There we go. He's now being sorted out. Right, there we go. So this tree is dropping and it's causing a lot of lag. So let's just finish mining up this lot while we're doing it you'll notice it's doing four at a time on this particular axe because I gave it a width plus plus and the reason I gave it a width plus plus is when I was going through the mines oh yeah that was the uh, when I was going through the mines um, I found it was quite useful to be able to dig up the whole of that thing in one go as you can see this thing is going for quite a long time which Let's just chop away this one. I don't know how many saplings we're going to get. We're going to get loads of them. I think there's some wood. Oh no, just sitting around. It's just, I thought I'd done these already. Four blocks difference, isn't it? So we have to keep going around and finishing off the the single pieces of wood so that the leaves can actually decay in their own at their own speed. What have I got here? Yes, I'm just about full of wood. Let's send the wood back home. What else have we got? We got 64. My goodness, we got a lot of saplings there. And it's still not finished decaying this uh, these leaves have not still not finished as you can see you can see blocks of wood floating around here right, scheme click click as a new block comes in anyway I'll stay here for a few minutes and I shall see you in a few seconds when this is finished well I chopped down the tree it took ages actually and I planted another sapling in its place now, I had a look at this dirt and I thought, oh, let's just take some of this dirt because it's an interesting colour. But when you harvest it, it's green and so is the grass. So it's just the colour of the biome that gives the colour of these. So, let's go back home now. Because the other, the other biomes in here are things like uh, Desert, Savannah Plateau and Extreme Hills. Did pick up Magnum Torch, Mega Torch, and I 
Yes, I did. As you can see, I picked up a whole load of junk to get rid of that, actually. I don't want that with me. I don't want the rotting flesh. I don't want... I tried to bone meal the sapling as well, and that didn't work. I think that's everything. I know, so get rid of some more of this wood. Sort it out. When I press sort on this, you'll see I've, some things appear in my hotbar. Because I've been playing with... Um, Inventory tweaks to sort out stuff. So, for example, these four items here will get always be a. This will always be a uh, pickaxe. So, if I actually put that pickaxe away, and it always picks this one wrong, let's put it into this bag and sort it again. You see that it always be puts a pack pickaxe there, which is I think it's great. So, let's get into the rocket. And let's go back. It seems, as I said already, I think all of the planets have got about four or five biomes, and that's about it. But there was one or two that were interesting. Let me have a quick look. There was one particular one. I think it's actually Sol 51. A second, Oops, we're just about to descend. Let's press space to descend. Let's have a quick look at my inventory here. Sol 15 is where I want to go to. Which is good because that's back on our own in our own solar system, Sol. Let's quickly go and do that. You'll have a look at the delithium. We've got plenty of delithium here still. Or, so it used about a, a stack and a half or something for those two trips. So let's now select another planet. Let's go up and select Sol. Double click it. And then we want Sol 15, which you can't see on here. this one. You see it's not an Earth-like planet, but strangely enough it is reasonably earthy. So let's press escape and then we can warp to there. This will be the last planet. Again you'll see, you'll notice the coordinates when we go outside. Oh, we've already reached there. The rocket should already be fueled up. Which it is. So let's go. Of course, I could build teleportation pads to go to these places, but to be honest with you, I don't expect to go to them too often. So I haven't bothered. I think the rocket's probably the cheapest way of getting there in terms of how we get there. So now we're coming down to ice mountains. Now ice mountains are interesting for two reasons. What time of day is it? It's midday. Because of the mobs you get here, it's mainly the, the most interesting thing about this. And I've placed a, uh, a ma another mega torch down there, so we don't need to worry about that too much. We'll see here we've got ice mountains. And let's go and have a look at what other... I can't tell you from which... What other biomes I've got in here. So that, the rocket's already... I didn't tell you this, did I? I didn't double check it. But let's go and have a look at uh, where the rocket is. Let's have a look at this. And you'll see again it's 534 minus 1540 as the coordinates. The Y, of course, changes depending on the ground, but that's that. Let's get out our nature's compass because I want to keep an eye on the time because I want to look at them. I want to show you the mobs because they're interesting. So we're in ice mountains. So if we look down here, we've got ice plains. Let's click that one. 
So there's a distance here, 35 meters away, and it's this direction, not very far at all. And now we're in ice plains. And here we should find, I think we find polar bears here. Yes, there you are, look. One polar bear with its child, or two polar bears in this case. And what a sort of make big sort of noises. What else have we got here that's interesting on this particular thing? I think we've got some ice spikes. They're quite impressive, actually. Ice plane spikes. Let's search for those. 370 over there. This looks like frozen ocean as well. Might still be ice plains actually. It doesn't change. I have to just hold on for a few seconds. Here we go. Now you can see the ice plane spikes. you've never seen those before and to be honest with you I haven't they are quite impressive so what we get from here I think I, I, I think I found three different mobs on this particular um, planet Blizz the one that's blue and cold and throws snowballs at you the one from um, Tough as Nails, which was a... Let's have a quick look at my inventory here so we can find out which one, because I can't remember the top of my, the top of my head. Um, we find Blid, Blid, so we can get some Blizz rods, which means we can get some Blizz powder. And then the use for that is to get some cryothium dust. We can actually make that anyway. We can make this with a crafting recipe. Oh, well, actually, it's a pulverizer. No, it's not a pulverizer recipe. How do we make it? I thought. There we go. Right, the mobs are around. I'm sure you can make it anyway. As you can see, you get these unusually looking skeletons. They're a bit like. Um, Ashens, but they're not ashens, I don't think. It just says skeleton when you get near it. Oh, no, that's not. That is an ashen, actually. And they're shooting at me, and I can't see them. <laughs> oh, they're shooting at each other now. That's good. We'll let them do that. And they will survive it. We shall. Sort out. Oh, here you go. These ones. Freezes, that was the one I was looking for. So you get your freeze rods from here. And the other one, we should see some blizz here as well. But they're slightly more rare. Let's go back towards the rocket. If I can't see where it is, there it is. And here we've got some basalt. I think there's a basalt. And these are another useful mob. These are the ones you can use for the pyrothium dust. They're shooting nice things at me, of course. Like that. We'll just pick up their droppings. We're shooting at that one over there. Okay. And we should see some blizzards too. I'm not sure if they are in the mountains. Yes, this is the one that this is the one that will drop special arrows. The slowness arrows. You get little rabbit you get little white rabbits here. In fact you get white and black rabbits as well.
a rocket 78 meters, so I need to be a bit further away. Yes, and that I just got one of those arrows there. As you can see, I've got an arrow of, spl of splashing, good for blindness. That's from the Ashens. You see, I've got some basalt rods, some freeze rods. And the only other thing I'd like to see is a blizz. And I'm going to have to get rid of some of this stuff. Let's go and put some of this stuff away. Lots of mob droppings, aren't there? And that's another basalt. Oops, missed him. Let's get this one then. Ah, here we go, I can hear him. He makes that. Uh, where is it? That's just another freeze. And of course, unfortunately, it's daytime already, so we won't see any more mobs. That's a shame. Never mind. Something you can come and do yourself. You know where it is. And again, I won't bother refueling the rocket. I'll just leave it like this. But it's got plenty of fuel in. So let's go back home. And you'll notice again, if I haven't said it for the millionth time, the coordinates are the same as they were on the space station. When I go to the moon, I actually also end at the same coordinates. That's what confused me in one of the previous videos. I wasn't sure what was going on. In fact, what I've done is also I've taken some woot prisms and rooted all of those mobs I found on this planet including some rabbits and polar bears well I haven't done polar bears because I don't think they drop anything but I have actually caught those in some uh, lassoes so here we go So, until next time, when we shall go and do some gas mining, I'm going to say bye for now. Oh, maybe you should even look at those quests. We'll do that next time. So bye for now.